Hi and welcome to another video by learningcomputer.com. This is Kashif Mughal. Today our topic is how to set up WordPress as your main site. So let's get going. Well, why use WordPress in the first place? Uh, as you know, WordPress is an open source blogging platform. It is used by millions of websites and bloggers worldwide. Here are some of the reasons for using WordPress on your site. Uh, when we say use on your site, we mean that WordPress is going to replace your whole site. Uh, you can also uh, add uh, add WordPress as a separate section, but what we are trying to do is basically replace your whole site with WordPress. And here are some of the reasons. As it is an open source platform, there are no startup costs associated with setting up WordPress on your site. There are literally thousands of plugins that are out there. This will enable your website to be powerful yet easy to use at the same time. Uh, another uh, component that I like is that uh, you will spend zero dollars on website design and development. A as you know, uh, you know, creating a website is not easy if you're trying to uh, make it interactive uh, with lots of features. And finally, uh, as blogging in general is content heavy, which means that uh, you know you focus on the content. There is an this is an excellent opportunity for you to get ranked high on search engines. So from an SEO point of view, uh, this is a great um, opportunity for you. So really what are we going to do today? We are going to set up WordPress on um, one of our sites. Uh, we have a new domain, um, deletefrom.com. Uh, Basically this site is going to have information on uh, not only uh, database related topics on delete from but maybe you know delete from uh, files or some other accounts or whatnot so if you go to this website right now deletefrom.com you can see that uh, you know we don't have anything it says got new host um, basically a message from our hosting company so at the end of this tutorial we should be able to replace this uh, with a generic WordPress installation okay so I guess you're asking how do we do that? Well, if you look at the detailed steps for setting up WordPress, uh, here is what we are going to follow or we recommend. You obviously need to register a domain, which we already did. You need to have a web hosting company that supports WordPress. We are using um, a company uh, called icdsoft.com. We do have a few websites with them, excellent company. Uh, and you know great pricing model too in fact we could even get you a, a better deal what they will offer because we are one of the affiliates so uh, you know keep that in mind uh, next we need to download the WordPress files to your computer and then upload it to the web server uh, after you do that you need to configure the WordPress software and then uh, moving on you need to create the MySQL database. WordPress basically is built on PHP and needs MySQL to work with it so we will show you how to do that on our site. Uh, next you need to enter information on your uh, website basically this is going to relate to the blog and finally we will log into the site and create a post so if we all do that we should be able to celebrate with a big woohoo at the end. Um, so those are basically high-level steps. Let's go ahead and uh, drill down a little bit into that. Like I mentioned, our domain is deletefrom.com. We are going to log into uh, what's known as the domain control panel, and for uh, for us, it's simply the uh, the domain slash cp. So I am going to copy this. And what we need to do first, uh, you know, before we really install WordPress is to back up your site. Uh, in, in our case, this is a new website, but, uh, you know, imagine that you are running an existing site and uh, you may want to um, essentially, you know, back up your, your data and whatnot. So when I did that, in fact, I was already logged in, but I just uh, logged out of the site. So let me <coughs> do this again. So delete from.com slash cp I go here and I get uh, my login screen and so I enter my username and let me get this password that I have over here um, and then I will go uh, log into this this is what's known as a control panel and you have a lot of options here like managing your files 
you know, mail setup and whatnot. Uh, we will actually come back to this portion where it says my SQL database for but for now I'm simply going to back up my site um, really I don't really even have anything in there but uh, I'm just gonna walking you through the steps so I will click backup now and it says it's going all the backups will be overwritten which is fine by me and while that is going on uh, we can continue with our essentially our next uh, setup so now in order to get the software you need to go to wordpress.org okay this is where you will be um, downloading the files and in our case we are going to download it to a directory called c colon wordpress and then we will be extracting the files which basically means is that the files will come in a zip format and we are going to upload them to uh, the root directory on our web server okay so you know you will be overriding essentially what's there and in our case in our case we are using FileZilla which is an FTP software you, that you can um, move files back and forth between your local machine and your web server so let me do this I'm going to go to uh, wordpress.org um, so in the mean in the meantime notice that our our backups are done so I can actually let, go back to my control panel I will leave this open let me just go to wordpress.org and here um, we are going to basically you know download wordpress 3.3.1 so I will click on that I will um, uh, right click on this link which is going to be a zip file 3.8 so let me select the one here save link as and I'm going to go to c colon slash wordpress okay um, and this is downloaded here what I'm going to next is basically right click on this file and I will extract it here okay uh, like I mentioned it's just a it's a zip file that includes all the all the files and uh, configuration files that are needed to um, you know for your WordPress to work so it just did that and created a folder called WordPress so the next thing I need to do is basically upload all these files including the, these three folders to my website okay and like I mentioned in the uh, PowerPoint I'm going to use FileZilla that you can uh, Google it's a free FTP solution to do that um, I'm already logged into my server I'm actually going to <clears throat> this on the left side is my uh, my local server or local machine I guess this is the re remote server and um, this is our original index.php in fact I'm going to go ahead and rename this to dot old in case I need to revert back okay and then all I need to do is basically select everything on my local site okay and I will go ahead and upload this to the directory so what I'm doing is I'm moving everything from my C drive to my remote uh, server and if you haven't done that um, you know please uh, look at FTP or FileZilla it's just um, pretty easy to do and let me go ahead and I selected upload and as you can see there are like a thousand files that are being uploaded so I will go ahead and pause the video and come back when this is done so I am back we have uploaded all the files uh, to our remote site you can see um, on here excuse me uh, another way you can check this is if you go back to your uh, control panel which is over here if I go to my file manager uh, you can see that you know everything has been uploaded today is uh, is February 19 so we just uh, overwrote all this um, information so we are done with that step moving on now we need to configure the WordPress software uh, so after the files are uploaded to the root directory you need to go to this location which basically for you is going to be domain slash index.php 
PHP. Uh, for us, it is going to be this one. When we do that, we should, uh, if we did this right, we should get a page that says create a configuration file. And then we need to select go for it. So let me go back to, let me kill this one. In here, uh, let me see what we got here. Okay, so now it's saying, um, get rid of this one. Uh, it says there doesn't seem to be a wp-config.php file. I need this before we can get started. Uh, it's got a little help section but I'm simply going to click on create a configuration file. Okay now it is saying uh, welcome to WordPress before getting started. Actually.